Everybody. Hello! We're here, and we have a window person. Yay! With yeah. <laughs> Hello, window person. Hello, hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. As always in the chat, let us know if you can hear us, if we've forgotten to turn the sound on, which happens far too frequently. Looks good. All right. <laughs> so, uh, we have a great guest with us today, um, a former colleague and current ne'er-do-well. Uh, Nate Fernald. Nate, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about why you abandoned us? Uh, hi guys, I used to, my name is Nate, I used to work at Jelly Vision, um, and I, I left to move to New York for, to pursue my passions uh, of rat-filled apartments, and, and, it's, and it's all been going as planned. Uh, <laughs> I was Jelly Vision's intern for a little while, but then I got promoted to a position that was basically still an intern, but had a title. I don't remember what my title was, though. <laughs> One of my favorite intern stories was when the uh, founder of the company just kind of dropped you off at a gas station and then left you there. <laughs> In and... a bad neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to walk back. With like 8,000 magazines or something? Yeah. yeah, I had been given the task of finding... Three different copies of Esquire magazine. <laughs> yeah. And I somehow managed to find three different copies of Esquire magazine in Chicago. And I got, finally got back to the office like hours later and gave them to him. And he looks at me and goes, what is this? I wanted Cosmo. It's for my wife. <laughs> he said Esquire. And, uh, and then I had to go return the magazines, which is very hard to do. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've ever. That, those are like the worst. Like I know we make jokes in the games about brutalizing interns, but really, I do remember you just having some of the shittiest tasks. I rem I ran into another employee like that that week, uh, like outside of work, and I was telling her that I was afraid I was going to get fired because uh, I was messing everything up wrong. But it turns out that I was just being told things wrong, but doing what I was told correctly. So. <laughs> I just remember right. some day where you had to figure, like, change a flight, like, within hours or something like that. It was just like, oh. you know, like, I don't even know how to begin to no, do this. I was asked to book a flight uh, for someone from uh, Chicago to New York, said he couldn't leave Chicago before 2, but had to be in New York for 4 o'clock, which <laughs> you can't physically do because of the time change. And, uh, and, and I tried to explain that, and it kept insisting that I, that I, that I check different airlines. I like how we're being politely ambiguous about who all these tasks are for, but they're all the same person. He or she. Uh, and then there was a time where there was that big company lunch, and I had to stay in and scan documents while I was... Oh, no. Uh, remember that? This makes I, it sound like we're too nice to our current... I know. Uh, it's true. <laughs> For, for a few years, I emailed Amanda every year on the anniversary of that and reminded her <laughs> of, of, the, of the time that I, I, uh, I had to miss the big company lunch to scan documents by myself. Uh, someone says, if, we, if it's possible, could we turn Nate's audio up a little bit? A few notches. Uh, Let's see. I here. turned my volume up. Does that do anything? I, do. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> you guys got louder. There we go. I might. I'll try that. Computer we'll put you a little closer to the microphone here. All right. Uh, Nate, what are some of the, just to give people some context, uh, what's some of the, I know this is like awkward to like promote your own stuff, but what's some of the stuff people might know you from? Uh, you might have just seen me on an episode of Louie. Um, you might have seen me in various roles on the now canceled Pete Holmes show. Mm hmm. Uh, and you might know me most importantly from my world famous Spider Man tweet. <gasps> uh, I'm looking at it right the, now, and it's pretty famous. The internet's favorite tweet, which you can learn all about at natefernald.com slash Spider Man tweet. It's not just a tweet, there's a whole backstory, much like Spider Man himself. Um, so check, check it out and learn about Spider Man tweet and help, help contribute to the cause if you can. Are you, are you going to relaunch this, this tweet? Read it live? Are you going to relaunch this tweet? 
Oh yeah. Uh, I think I might, as in re re Peter. <laughs> You're gonna re Peter the Peter Parker. <laughs> uh, you were great yeah. on Louie, by the way. Uh, that was such that a great was... episode, and you were really funny. Oh, thanks, thanks very much. Uh, it was really, it was really fun. Um, it was one of the few times I've seen myself on camera and didn't hate myself. So <laughs> that's a big. That's a big moment in any actor's life. So. Uh, not to make this annoying, but someone's now saying there's an echo. Oh, maybe you uh, should turn your audio down a little bit, Nate. Okay. All right, turn on. How, how about how about that? I think that's probably this better. This is great. This is great. Okay, well. just got to make sure everyone was able to hear about Spider-Man tweets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. But it yes, was. Go to natefernal.com. It's really funny. Is it is it Slash like is it like a charity? Spider-Man tweet or something? Oh, say it's what? a tweet. <laughs> ben doesn't understand. Where's this Google? What is Twitter? Uh, let's look at this tweet. Er, we, we are looking. We'll, we'll show people. Oh, so small. So much. Oh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of text to read there. Yeah. Instead, let's show this. Oh yeah, let's watch. <laughs> let's watch. Uh, we're gonna play Quiplash in just a little bit, but let's watch this first. Okay. This is when I knew you were a star. You when I saw this. Commercial, you get to see a 15 second clip of a cat sneezing, even when I know the cat isn't seeing a cent of that ad revenue? How about this? <laughs> we're jumping in the middle of the skit here. Yeah, it makes very little sense out of context. Yeah. The YouTube video is pretty quiet. Luckily, it's mostly visual information. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing under the towel? Underpants. Oh. No, no more. Uh, hey, Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> All right, too many clicks. Now does everyone recognize me? <laughs> <laughs> that guy, remember? <laughs> oh, that guy. Um, that was pretty cool, though. Was it fun working on Pete Holmes? Oh, yeah, it was amazing. It was, it was the most fun. Can you take credit for, like, certain sketches that you wrote? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you ever see Nice Boy Telling Nice Jokes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have known that. I should have guessed that. Yeah. That was... <laughs> My, my child on that. Um, that was yeah. great. Um, all right, well, should we try some Quiplash? Yeah, yeah let's play some Quiplash. And I, we'll play a what? game, and then we'll talk a little bit. Nate was also a character in You Don't Know Jack, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, someone, we're also getting a message on how to make our sound better. But we can, uh, I don't know if you see that. Uh, we're not good at this. There's a lot of things going on here. Buttons and stuff. We're not gonna pretend like we know what we're doing. Um, all right, so how can we give, uh, oh, we can, we'll Skype you the, uh, the room code, Nate. Okay, you can text it to me too, would that be easier? Uh, mate, oh, well, I have Skype open. There are, I, there are so many pictures of my face on my screen right now. <laughs> there's like my little Skype cube, and then there's like all these one, two, three, four, five. There are five me's on the screen. Uh, all right, how can I do this? All right. Oh, what's this keyboard? Um, I can't, am I, if I'm supposed to be able to read whatever is being typed, I can't read it. Oh, you can't? I just... You didn't see that? No. What? I... <laughs> you want to try to text him? Yeah, I believe here. I have. Yeah, yeah I do. All right. <laughs> I'm sending you, texting you the code right now. Okay. I 
Maybe I shouldn't play. I might have to leave suddenly to have a call with Microsoft. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Someone's I'm, getting a new job. I'm in play. Oh. What? <laughs> There we go. All right. I'm gonna get in there. All right. All right. The game just told me to sit back and relax. <laughs> there we go. That's how you win. <laughs> and he's on the floor. Yeah. Whoever can relax the best wins. See, I challenge anyone to be more relaxed than me. <laughs> <laughs> Real big Mike says Ben with the least subtle name drop of all time. So basically, you just write joke answers to two prompts, Nate. Okay. Your whole life has led up to this moment. Um. Ben, sing while we edit your answers. Sure. I did have a song earlier about... Two more people to get their answers in. I sent mine in, and the game said thank you, which I think is very nice. <laughs> now my phone is telling me to take off my pants or something. <laughs> <laughs> what did your phone ask you to do is that you would do? What's the limit? So now you just vote for which one is your favorite, unless yours is in the running. Uh... <laughs> Game. I like that. <laughs> you probably, in fact, you probably should swear in this game if you really. All right. <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> if you can spell diarrhea. Over the line. D i a r r h e a. <laughs> diarrhea. Oh wow. That probably gave your computer a virus. <laughs> 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 yeah, Ben is just gonna give away our votes. Only yours. I can't see that. Also, my phone is gigantic. My head is tiny. Oh, the audience played that one. What if two people type in the same thing? And that's you get something you shouldn't buy at a yard sale. It's voting time. One of these is mine. I'm not super happy with it. Yeah, that yard is kind of cool. <laughs> I had the force. I knew it was your brain so so. <laughs> Because you just walked right over my shoulder. No, oh, I just know, like, I know you write something. That's true. It's very obvious. Arnie, written things. Okay, 
next one. Ozzy Osbourne's Twitter password, probably. Load on your devices. <laughs> These is mine. Hmm. Uh, I'm guessing it's the second one that's yours. Because <laughs> you put in the other. No, I didn't. <laughs> ah, mm. wow. Oh, just there. Yeah, I quit. Anybody. I'm out of here. <laughs> Well, it's nice having you, Nate. Next one. I have two IMDb pages. How dare you treat me like this? <laughs> I do wish someone would do a painting of just a bunch of me's, of me, Arnie, never mind, playing Quiplash. Yeah. So like Nate, I know he's... Good job, Arnie. <laughs> Could have been longer. Fair. <laughs> Go play You Don't Know Jack by my name. Hey, have fun. It's voting time. Hey. I know this already is not typing it, voting on an answer this round. <laughs> yeah. I know this. I know how to play the room a little bit. Is there going to be another round after this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's okay, 19 good. rounds to the Can game. Can you play our games? Because there's a lot of rounds. Okay. Because, like, I'm now just starting to, like, figure it out. Uh, I like that, uh, Lime Green Techni in response to the painting of Arnie's playing Quick Lash. All the answers are jinxed that you're gonna find. Just thanks, like, just thinks like Arnie. Time to vote. Blocked it everywhere. <laughs> Man, I didn't bring in like hundreds of thousands of people. You know. Did you tweet about it? I did. Oh, I did I, but I didn't Spider-Man tweet about yeah, it. Yeah, totally different. Sure. Could you include, could you put some tweets inside that tweet? <laughs> there should be a Twitter just for Spider-Man. Is Spider-Man your favorite superhero? Yeah, he's okay. I loved Spider-Man when I was a kid, and now, I guess as you get older, you just don't identify with him as much. Yeah, did you know that they're relaunching those movies again? What? What? <laughs> yeah, I get on Twitter and pay more attention. Yeah, so you tweet about it. <laughs> so, do, what were some of the best uh, comments you got, like, from interesting people or anything on your tweet? Um, That's the end of round one. I, I can't think. There, a bunch of people have actually tweeted funny things. At it. I saw that ifc.com right there at the top. Oh, yeah. Right now. It's just like, oh, hey, nice tweet. I messaged them back asking if they wanted to, to develop it into a TV show, but they, they declined. What does Toby McGuire think? He loves. Oh, more, time to answer questions. More answers. I'm not real happy with that. I, 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 I felt myself regretting my second answer, but I still can't send anyway. Actually, Evan, I heard you sing. How about a sampling sometime soon? Mm -hmm. Sometimes soon. Can we soon, put a sub sure. game where we try to figure out what one Arnie is upset with? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll know. I, 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 I will point out both of Arnie's oh, answers before. Is, uh, is something you should never use as a start. I, I know what they are. And I didn't even Okay, it, everyone, so. vote for your favorite. No. Can we please put Ben dancing on the main screen? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> not just a little tiny screen. Uh, for people who are people in the chat are being like, not to be rude, but who is the guy in the snake? It's uh, <laughs> there. It's Nate Fernald, a good friend of ours. Uh, used to work. Uh, used to be an intern at Jellyvision. He's a comedian uh, and also an actor, and uh, he was the voice of and Nate, the intern in Jack. Lower your heating bills. Eight years ago, seven years ago. Yeah, probably about seven years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah, about seven years ago. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell if these are compliments or insults. <laughs> we have a very loyal following that hates us. <laughs> I think we should have a Twitch stream where we invite all of our wives in and they play for us. Yeah. 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 No, there's no. And next. <laughs> Good idea, Sometimes man. after a long day, you just need to blank. <laughs> Time to vote. So you played yourself in You Don't Know Jack, someone's asking. It, but it, no, it was a totally different character. Yes, he's so the Nate. same name and the same job as me. <laughs> <laughs> when did your therapist tell you to quit your job as an <laughs> Uh I couldn't afford a therapist as my job as an intern at Jellyfish. <laughs> Isn't there like a wise janitor? <laughs> Coming up next, the worst advice a doctor could give. We we're all curious to hear devices. about your love affair after leaving You Don't Know Jack. Huh. Hey, I bet you $10 that Arnie wrote this thing about Vegas. <laughs> Alright, I'll vote for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that to that show. <laughs> <laughs> you know we'll leave behind references. That's how I am. That's true. <laughs> how many times have you seen Minions so far? Okay, next one. Uh, uh, we can see I'm not wearing a when they see people today. naked. So. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> <laughs> So Nate, do you have any memories of some of your favorite Nate the Intern moments? Um, there was the photo shoot for the the part where they could, people could donate to me. Yeah. Oh right, right. Ex except I didn't get any of that money. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's really it's sort of morally questionable. Like we had <laughs> in our defense, like we it was pretty uh, top times for the company in general, but we. We had a, a, the game was free on the internet at the time, um, and we had a donation page that we, that we set up as being donating, donate, to make the intern, because he has so little money, and then, yeah, none of that money went to you, it just went to the company. Yeah. So. Made this is not a lot of money. Yeah, there's a decent amount to like buy me like chicken fingers or tacos. Like, <laughs> so it was like five dollars, ten dollars. Well, well, well. Someone knows how to spell diarrhea. I think I have <laughs> suspicions about who it is. That is not exactly right. <laughs> it's the first time in the history of this game someone spelled diarrhea right. <laughs> What's the elephant in the room right now? Wow, total destruction. Good work. Uh, Public diarrhea. Suck it, bro. Quick laugh. Alright. One happy little blue thingy. And I really want one of our fans to get a best sleepy guy. You could get today. <laughs> oh, come on, Arnie. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I knew that was- I knew it! I saw Ben die! I'm like, that's fucking Arnie! Like I said, that's not the one I regret. <laughs> Did that one come up yet? You regret? No, that is- yeah, this is the one that I regret. Oh, uh, okay. This seems mean. Is this the second time I've been threatened by a coworker today, Mike? I actually- I thought that one was- was better, but I voted for the other one because I felt bad. You don't have to feel bad. I have an amazing life. <laughs> Alright, you can die. <laughs> Scoreboard. So speaking of uh, chicken fingers, 
I remember, <laughs> Nate, has your, has your diet changed in any way since you worked here? Because you've mostly ate chicken fingers every meal. Um, I got really in the falafel. Really? The last Point values are tripled. Middle Eastern chicken fingers. Yeah. I remember going out to lunch with you and seeing you eat tacos for the first time. As a 23 year old man. Did you, did you ever, did you ever get the chicken fingers at Sully's? No, I haven't. I remember we went to, it was uh, kind of the first year Jelly Vision really made some money after a lot of years of not making money. We went out to a really, really fancy restaurant and they, uh, they brought, it was like a 15 course meal. And, oh yeah. <laughs> And it was all like science experiments, but none of them tasted good. Right. <laughs> and it was definitely molecular gastronomy, like crazy yeah. stuff. Right, and it would be like, you know, a, a bowl full of tentacles. <laughs> and that was just, that was not the right meal for you. I think I was yeah, sitting yeah. near you, and every time they bring something out, you'd be like, oh god, no, <laughs> no! <laughs> Because you think that's a really good one? <laughs> no. <laughs> you just think that's my sense of humor. Because I, think that's what you want to call it. <laughs> I think it's a really good one. That's why. That's. Uh, Falcon flavored punch says, "What's the DLC plan on this game?" We're going to make some. Yeah, there's definitely a DLC coming. Oh, I don't think we know when yet exactly. It shouldn't be so so long. You have to write it. So not long. You haven't seen oh, it since I did that. I have written a couple of black but I have nine in the game. I think you should keep track. My favorite just one, keep sending them in. The favorite one I do, but I just keep doing it. One of my favorite one that I wrote was, what's your favorite Game of Thrones spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Maybe no one voted for it. Oh. I voted for it three times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first, the first time you hear about them dying, it's awful. The second time, it's kind of I thought no one voted. If I die, die before Monday, you guys are going to be really. Oh, yeah. Well, something. That'd be. It's you over. feel something. Let's take a look at the like final scores. Ben, what's your favorite movie, Drew? Is that true? Seems like. It could be. No, seriously. Favorite movie. My favorite movie. I know they didn't ask me. My favorite Dead. movie is The Apartment. Did I just win Quiplash? You did. How you did. did. Is your public diarrhea? Yeah. Public yeah. diarrhea. Yeah. Excellent spell. Yeah. Yeah. Highest, highest, highest rating. Diarrhea. diarrhea. <laughs> Gets enough time. Nate, what's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is. Oh, look at people are gonna jump into this. Oh, good. Oh. Ooh. If you have to think this hard about it, you might not have a favorite movie. Do I have to yeah. type in another code or something? We'll give it to you, yeah, and just uh yeah. Um my I think my favorite movie is Oh man, it's a hard that's a hard one. Maybe Top Secret? No, yeah. MacGruber. MacGruber <laughs> Is MacGruber actually good? I've never seen it. I think it's the funniest movie of the last it's ten years. Very polarizing. It's I, really, it is really fun. Some of my favorite professional wrestlers are in that movie. Yeah. I tried to watch it with my wife because my friend said it was his favorite movie ever. And she, like, within 10 minutes, she was like, shut this off. I can't. This is terrible. <laughs> it's the dumbest movie in the world, and it's so funny. How, how dumb is it relative to Hot Shots Part 2? It's a different kind of dumb. Yeah. It's like, it's... Yeah, I can't, like, Will Forte is just so funny in it, and he just plays, like, the most pathetic person <laughs> or ever. And it's like, 
Oh, it's, it's the best. We're getting some good ones in the chat. People's favorite movies are No Country for Old Men, Birdman, although I kind of didn't like Birdman, I have to confess. Brave Little Toaster, Clue, Galaxy Quest. You don't mess with the Zohan. I don't know. I can't follow you. <laughs> you not see that one. I can't agree with all of them. <laughs> but seriously, watch Rudy. And, try to watch Rudy and not cry. It's, it's. I've actually never seen Rudy. Fuck you. My favorite movie. I just started it, watching Friday Night Lights, and I like well up probably like twice an episode. Oh yeah. 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 I don't. That, that I don't shows. even care about football Cry, even cool a little horse. bit. But yeah, I, me neither. It's it's gut wrenching. It's a great show. Especially when they're just people being nice to each other makes you cry. You're like, they're being so kind. I know. Like, just people caring about each other. Yeah. My, my, they my walked sister. all the way over to their house and knocked on the door just to say. My, like, sis, my sister-in-law <laughs> works for this, like, like top publishing company. And they write they write books about with essays about, uh, about various TV shows and movies. And she gave me a copy of the Friday Night Lights one. And, like, half the book is, like... Is Riggins just the hottest dude ever? <laughs> and then all the ones written by men are like, I wish I was Riggins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of is. <laughs> like, what can you learn, like, what can you learn about being a man from Riggins? Everything. Uh, did we track down any audio from the game of Nate or not? Really? <laughs> so the only audio I could find is the very last piece of audio from the last episode of the uh, weekly web game. Uh, yeah, before so. we play it, I just want to say, like, from a writer's perspective, I loved having Nate as a character in the game because it's hard to come up with things to have happen that are funny and can be quick. And one, just having a foil for Cookie was so helpful. And Nate was just a good kind of exasperated intern that had to put up with Cookie. And so it was always fun to write Nate into... Uh, why are you getting so close? I'm, <laughs> I'm not so close. I mean... You're closer to Evan than you are to me. Uh, Nate was always just a great, exasperated, put-upon foil for Cookie, and it was always fun to have him in the game. What happened to Nate, the character? Where is he now? Well, we're going to play the last, his last appearance in the game. Yeah, so just the lead-up to this, in the last episode, every question of the game, Cookie tries to come up with some way to kill Nate, and it never quite works out. Something always saves Nate. Yeah, I think you were set on fire, he tried to set you on fire, he tried to blow you up, tried to drown you, and at the very end he has an elephant come to trample you, and the elephant just uh, tramples Nate the intern. Uh-huh. And Wait, why is he trying to murder him? Is there a reason? Yeah, it's just, just Cookie. <laughs> Cookie's he hated bloodlust. Me. He Cookie's, hated me. Yeah. Yeah. Cookie's lightened up. A little just, bit, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, um, he has him in the front this time. And so, so you think that Nate is dead, and then at the very end, <sighs> this is what you hear. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to come up with some snarky insult for you here, but I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying the silence caused by the untimely, accidental trampling of Nate the intern. I just... Uh, Cookie, do you have a second? Ah! Nate's ghost! Get back! Look, I, I, I'm sorry, I... Th th the elephant was... It was it was an accident. I, I never... That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Cookie. I wanted to thank you for introducing me to Tiny. I know this is crazy, but I, I think we're in love. We're gonna go off and start a life together. Get married, have a couple of baby people elephants. We call them peepafins. We're gonna name them Tinier, because they'll most likely be Tinier than Tiny. It made sense at the time. I'm gonna be so happy. And you're invited to the wedding. Oh, uh, wow. Nate, that's, that's great. Um, I... I'm really happy for you. Whew, okay, didn't expect that. Um, ahem. well, what can I say? Congratulations. <laughs> Boy, tying the old knot, huh? Are you registered anywhere? Yeah, Home Depot. We could really use a ladder. You got it, Nate. Have a nice life. Thanks. Bye. Did, did you fuck that elephant? I know. <laughs> yeah, how come they cut that part out? <laughs> Yeah, it was like 10 minutes. Yeah, I think that must have been a separate audio Straight file. up elephant fun. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the ladder was for also? Oh, absolutely. What, what are elephants into sexually? Uh, they like putting their trunks in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what do you like chance chance what, during that? What do you so? call that, though? What is that called? It's trunk called the, the trunk butt, yeah. <laughs> okay. As long as it has a name. <laughs> My, my favorite chat that went by was, uh, well, this is turning me on. 
<laughs> Better love story than Twilight. Uh, we have a long tradition of animal sex stuff in our game. Yeah, I, you must have written that. Just uh, to, you know, yeah. I think I didn't actually. I, I feel like I wrote the majority of the Nate the Intern stuff. You're the quickest person to like point out how awkward it is to talk about bestiality, but you're the first person to write about it. I write a lot of bestiality stuff for some reason. <laughs> Uh, but I do not think, I think probably if I had to guess, Steve-O probably wrote the, the last. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> I Funny. was excited to go record audio and just, you know, take a break from, like, responding to emails about people who couldn't get their 1995 CD-ROM store. We still get emails like that. We still get a lot of that. <laughs> There's still people who want to get their 1995 CD-ROM working in Windows 10, so. <laughs> Funny ending, but it would have been ultra cool if Thomas Edison showed up in the elephant with and killed the elephant with alternate current electricity. That's so that's, that's that's so that would be more. That sounds like every movie ends. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a very educational ending because he did definitely uh, do that. I like we're getting an action shot of Nate. I'm just yeah. glad he's wearing pants. Well, I've been sitting on the floor, so now I'm. Moving in a more comfortable position. Yeah. Do you not Did your have... phone tell you to relax a little? <laughs> Do you not have furniture? Try uh, well, I have an office, but there's no windows in it, so the lighting's not great. Uh, I see. Uh, if you had to guess, if you had to guess, Nate, what is Nate the intern doing now? Ten, eight years later. <laughs> uh, he died making love to that elephant. <laughs> Did, like minutes later, <laughs> like like did he did he successfully inseminate the elephant? <laughs> Does he have uh, little children around? Or vice versa? I like to hope so, but he blacked out before he was finished. So. Oh god! <laughs> uh, let's play another game of Quiplash. But I'm gonna go see if Microsoft emailed me. All right. Yeah. Text the name dropping. I'll see. Is it gonna be good? Is it gonna be good? Oh, it is a good one. So I this iPhone like a couple months ago, just in time, you know. <laughs> I was using a flip phone up until very recently. Really? Sounds I guess right. that doesn't yeah, that <laughs> surprise me. When I last saw you, that was the phone I was still using. <laughs> you would not have been able to play. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Time to sit back and relax. All right. I actually buy this case for my phone because I didn't like not having to open something before talking. <laughs> you are very much a creature of habit. Yes. I'm going to type in the room code into chat there. Uh, so. Yeah. The room, I'm going to type it in, but the room code sounds like quitiqua. But you'll be able to read it before. <laughs> a lot of people got it. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if it's the. Sometimes I think the reflection on the window behind us. If people really. All right, everybody's in. You can keep joining the audience, but I'm going to start the game. Chad are impressed with your dedication to the flip phone format. Thank you. I feel like kind of a sellout, but I have an iPhone. But, this is round but I gotta get my email. Score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winners' bonuses at stake. Go. All right. Do you have a bird? Uh, no, but there's a window near me, with, and there's birds outside of it. Wow, New York's really changed. I know. There's <laughs> birds coming in, ruining my neighborhood. Super confident in my answers, I've gotta be honest. I'm gonna sit back and relax. Uh, I think people are in the chat are talking about not being able to play their old versions of the game. Let's 
uh, Senior Julian also says my answers could have been better. We'll see. Maybe this is going to be a really crappy game of Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I have great answers to this one. But I won the last game, so whatever, I can just get a show on this one. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Jess Ann says, I'm actually feeling good about my answers. We'll see if Jess Ann wins. Or at least wins the first round. Jess Ann, are you playing as Jess Ann or some other man? I was like, that's some like highbrow word that means like intellectual. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna vote. I voted for ambulance emoji, McFoop emoji. I feel like I would have taken. I would have liked it better without the Mick and the poop. I don't know why. Sorry, Harris Foster. I still voted for you. I almost always vote for Harris Foster for some reason. Trounced. <laughs> Senior Julian. This is your only friend. <laughs> Wait, we got a lot of Michaels playing this game or something? A name for a new cereal that's for I wish the people in my games would come up with better answers. It's always something about dogs or dead babies. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. I like a good dirty answer, but some yeah, I think people just I think people just repeat the same answers ad nauseum. And I even like callbacks. I think callbacks are funny, but people just go from stream to stream saying the same thing over and over again. Like they've got just like a weird verbal tick. No, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot oh, I like corneos! <laughs> Jess Ann has turned on to be my nemesis in this game. I'm kind of bummed that I played my diarrhea card so early in the game. <laughs> no, I, could... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Um, I, I, I do really like the second one. I don't know why I didn't vote for it, though. Danny in the chat says, Apple Jack Offs. No, that's what I <laughs> My mom wouldn't let me buy you, you don't know Jack came in the early thousands Coming up because next. it implied the term and Jack shit. Sure. In most yeah. microwave pizza pockets. It does imply that. Load on your devices. <laughs> I'm like, weirdly amused by the, the postscript to denim. You know, like a jean. <laughs> For anyone who's out there asking, what's denim? <laughs> uh, still beat me. Our time. And like a jean. One thing you never Pretty do sure it's like a jean. What's that? Jeans? <laughs> a scissor? <laughs> My mom made me play You Don't Know Jack. Oh, with the sound off. That didn't quite work. <laughs> My mom didn't really get video games when I was a kid, so we could get away with a lot. Yeah. I remember we used to, we used to play Leisure Suit Larry, and it came with like a, a wheel. Or, uh, before you could play, it would ask you questions to oh, try yeah. and prove how old you were, like about That's the Beatles and stuff. And so we'd have my mom come and answer the questions and then make oh, her really? leave. <laughs> In hindsight, we should have just known the answer. <laughs> I, I, we would just keep trying to answer until we get it right. Because they were multiple choice answers, I think. Uh, I remember being obsessed with Leisure Suit Larry. Like, I had a friend in the neighborhood who had the game. And I, whenever I was over, I tried to be casual about it. It's like, hey, let's, uh, I don't know, why don't we, why don't we play Leisure Suit Larry? <laughs> and he was so over it because he played it with like, everybody in the neighborhood already. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, next one. I wonder if that game was ever played by an adult. It's voting time. <laughs> Hot Gatorade. That sounds mm. brutal. 
Guys, full disclosure, the smaller microwave one's mine, but I wish I said a bigger microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so upset about it, like, this whole game. This is not enough to win, but maybe you would have gotten Evan. Would, would you, Evan, would you have voted for a bigger microwave? I think I might have, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> Harris Foster always does well. Uh, the bottom of the pile. Round two, where everything is worth two times as much as I've had Warden Gatorade. <laughs> All right. I haven't seen before. Yeah, I haven't seen some of these either. Senior Julian says, am I saying that right, Senior Julian? <laughs> I'm assuming it's Senior Julian says, I really need to own this game for myself. You do! You can get it on Steam, on Xbox One, PS3, PS4, Fire TV, Fire TV Stick, Yay! Mac? Mac. Are there other Ten places? seconds! What is Nate typing? Nate, you're <laughs> almost out of time. I don't know. Hit send. One. Oh, no, no, you got it! No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> now, first problem is, <laughs> the biggest downside to living in hell. Ben died. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Real tough choice. <laughs> no, it's not. Our I'm gonna try to do a shitting on Ben answer, right? I don't know. Don't I know. Yeah. You've only got one more round, the final round. Lord Extreme 62 says, Are you guys the ones who created this game? Yes! We are. Uh, this is Jack. We're Jackbox Games, the makers of Quiplash and the Jackbox Party Pack. We're also a figure of the Jack. The combination of two actors that and, uh, could possibly star in the next You should follow us. Every week together. we stream at 2 o'clock and we play our games. And Time when we have new games game. coming out, we play those before they're out as well. <laughs> this is pretty funny. My quiplash finger has a band-aid on it. It's really hurt my quiplash finger. Oh, Did the person who asked that question mean it as a dig or genuine curiosity? Which, which question? Oh, are we... The... Yeah. That's a good question. Are you the guys in the <laughs> That could be right Jesus either way. Real, yeah. Last words. He also said, uh, you guys are geniuses. I don't know how to read that. I don't know if I understand this. I really like this game, guys. Good job with it. Thanks, Nate. Yeah, mine, uh... I guess my, my train joke was that Jesus was killed by a train. <laughs> so he yelled, oh. train. It doesn't really make any sense. I thought he was saying, A train, like take the A train. Nobody would ever use. Oh, city boy. Time to vote. I'd just like to congratulate whoever wrote Fart Sandwich on writing Fart Sandwich. <laughs> Julian. Hey, Julian, congratulations. I'm sad that other people didn't feel like I did about that. Nate, you, the audience came here, though. I just noticed there's someone named Lime, not Nate. So it's Nate versus not Nate. Up next, <laughs> name a TV drama that's about a vampire doctor. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> Can 
Can anyone join? Yes, anyone can join the game at any time. Just go to jackbox.tv and put in the code at the top of the screen. If you're watching this game later, we post these on YouTube later, the Jackbox Games YouTube page. If you're watching this on YouTube, still go to the website, put in the code, and your code will go back in time. <laughs> oh, no one like Terrible Doctor MD. See, because his last name is Doctor. <laughs> An inappropriate thing for a detective to say at a crime scene. Time to vote. <laughs> <laughs> ran out of time on one. <laughs> Is that your mate? Or you were running out of time. I hope, I like to imagine it actually is. How much will you give me if I fuck the corporation that led to? The... <laughs> Okay, next one. The weirdest room you could see in an airport would be one specifically designated for blank. Vote on your device. Uh, now I'll vote for it. <laughs> Bigger microwaves were just ahead of their time before. Kevin, going back to the Back to the floor. <laughs> So close, so the flash. Yeah, it's all just what we're doing. Or X Al? The former Al, maybe? Next in line, you would never go on a roller coaster. It's best not to play. try to understand these things, <laughs> too. <laughs> Time to vote. <laughs> <laughs> Not even vote. Seems like maybe one person didn't vote, right? Uh, or maybe not. Two. Two. No more. Right. Let's see the damage. Should have five vote. Oh. Nate, not doing yes. well. I gotta give another diarrhea this one in there. Even <laughs> the odds a little one bit. It's your last chance. <laughs> Point values are tripled, and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your prompt is something you'd probably find a lot of in God's refrigerator. Well, if only I knew how to spell that. <laughs> I was gonna ask how to spell it. It's like two H's or something. Cheese just because. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, I should still vote. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's funny. Let's see. we get to the final wrap-up, Nate, remind us uh, where should people go to find some of your fun stuff. Um, Twitter.com slash Nate Fernald. Definitely follow Nate on Twitter. He's very funny. Um, and you should, everyone should buy the latest Team Submarine album called Glass Matthew, Evan. You can also search uh, for Glass Michael. <laughs> don't search for Glass Michael. It's called Glass Matthew. Uh, it's on iTunes. Uh, Amazon, pretty much wherever you can buy MP3s. 
He might he be able to hear me laughing somewhere in the thing. No, that's right. Arnie was at the taping. Yeah, me too. And Evan. Yeah, and Spencer, even though he forgot that we drove there together. And Spencer. <laughs> Whoa. Why not Nate did it real well. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone get 41% in the final round before. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. I feel like Lime Knight and that Nate might have taken it. Yeah, that was a huge... Oh, look at me. Dead laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but still, follow him on Twitter. It's very funny. <laughs> uh, yes, and... Uh, Favorite and retweet the Spider-Man tweet. Yes, absolutely. Well, most importantly is is like the Facebook comment that became Spider-Man tweet. So okay. go to napefurl.com slash Spider-Man tweet. You can learn all about the history and what Spider-Man tweet's really about. And, uh... <laughs> hey, Steve-O's here. Hi, Nate. Hey, Steve. -O. <laughs> How are you doing? I can't actually see you. The picture's too small, but I can hear you. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm here... Well, how great to see a tiny, <laughs> tiny version of you. How are you? Here, wait. Let me make him bigger. Which one of these? Ugh, too many mice. There we go. There he is. Hi. <laughs> uh, love that Spider-Man tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There, I see there's two, two Stevos. Yeah. Yes. It looks like one is <laughs> gently <laughs> nuzzling in here. <laughs> uh, double. <laughs> Uh, we unfortunately have to go. Sorry, Steve. No, no, I, I, I to say. Uh, we have to go. We have it's an insane. We're in the middle of an insane amount of work here at Jackbox Games, which is good news for people that like our stuff. I don't know. What the, I literally don't even know what else to say about because I can't really talk about what stuff we're working on. But we're working on some cool stuff. Games. My brain is almost completely fried. Uh, but uh, it's really good to see you, Nate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks again for having me. This was a lot of fun. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna play the game more now. All right, it works. We sold one. <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Is that what this is all about? <laughs> yes. So, to sell now we have game. to have a few million more guests <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> uh, see everybody back here next week at two, and we'll, with I believe John Teddy maybe is is lined up for next yeah. week. Anyway, we have a guest next week, and we'll play more Quiplash. All right. Cool. See everybody soon. Bye. The Jackbox Games Twitch stream.